I want to become a robot or become an artificial intelligence or become some type of super consciousness that might just be pure data someday. At least support the Transhumanist Party because I hope one day you're going to see that person in the White House and I will be advocating for life extension for you. Transhumanists are a group of people, a couple million worldwide now, that want to use science and technology to radically enhance the human being and also the human experience. This is Zoltan Istvan, the US presidential candidate who wants to beat Hillary, Bernie and Trump and then beat death itself. He's running for the Transhumanist Party, the only US political party fighting to make America not just great again, but to make it immortal using biohacking, cybernetics, cryogenics, and even by uploading your consciousness into a machine. He's the founder of the Transhumanist Party, a new political group that wants to use technology to overcome death and improve human abilities. This year, Zoltan is running for president of the United States. His platform, vote for me and you could live forever. I really advocate for sort of merging with machines and robotic hearts and things like that. I actually have a chip in me. It's uh, right here. Yeah, but you have the chip already built into the uh, thing? Or yep, you... it's already in the injector. Yeah. And uh, you can do all sorts of uh, little things with it, and uh, including start your car if you have the right software and stuff like that. 12,000 Americans die every single day. So when we have that many Americans dying, we, uh, we, we think, hey, we ought to do something. An underlying theme to transhumanism is this merging uh, with machines, and most transhumanists want to make that, uh, that merge. I'm presidential candidate of the Transhumanist Party. We're a small third party in America, and we're trying to use a platform of science and technology. Our main goal is to um, bring science and technology into politics. Right now, we have a lot of other major candidates that just seemingly don't want to talk about it. So the Transhumanist Party and my presidential candidacy aim to elevate science and technology to the forefront of American politics so that we can discuss it and hopefully put a lot more resources into it. Transhumanism literally means beyond human, but we are a, uh, a social movement of a couple million people who want to use science and technology to live indefinitely and also to radically modify the human being and to modify the human experience. So that can be anything from driverless cars to um, bionic uh, limbs to even cranial implants where we might use uh, you know, certain types of technology one day to upload our minds into machines. Do you think that you will live forever or is it the future generations that you're hoping to extend their lifetimes? I'm hoping that I would live indefinitely. I would consider that a major priority. But even if I don't, I would freeze myself or I would use some type of um, you know, mechanism. There's now a way that you can kind of scan the brain and hopefully scan every little aspect of it and maybe upload it into a, a, a computer in the future. So even if you die now, there are already methods that transhumanists are using to try to preserve what they would call themselves. I think transhumanism is going to be responsible for some of the very first trillionaires. So each one of these, because it's still a vacuum, really it's not full on the outside, it's extremely cold inside. Well, I, I'm always, it amazes me that this has not caught on more. I just mm. constantly am thinking, why aren't tens of thousands of people doing it? That's, it's amazing to me, and probably to you, that they would rather die than think about coming back into a world that's really different.